Hello and welcome back to Maths with Miss Haytner. So today we are going to look at counting objects up to 20. But to start with, we've got to get our brain working. So we're going to play a game. The game is guess my number. So I'm going to think of a number. I'm going to give you three clues and I need you to see if you can work out what number I am thinking of. Okay, so shall we start? So clue number one. The number I am thinking of is greater than eight. Hmm. So the number I am thinking of is more than eight. It's greater than eight. If you're thinking of all those numbers, it could be brilliant. Okay, so clue number two. The number I am thinking of is less than 11. Hmm. So what numbers do you know that are greater than 8 but less than 11? Have you got it in your head? There's a few options. Brilliant. Now the final clue, the third clue is the number I am thinking of is double 5. Is that giving you a clue? So it's double 5. Brilliant. Have you got that number? Right, shout it back at me. What number am I thinking of? That's right, it's number 10. 10 is double 5. 5 add 5 more is 10. Double 5 is 10. 10 is also greater than 8. It's more than 8. 10 is also less than 11. Well done. Brilliant. Shall we have a go again? Let's have another go. Hmm, let me think of my next number. What could I use? Oh, I've got it. Okay. My number is more than seven. Okay. So my number is more than seven. is less than 15. Hmm. So it's more than 7. It's greater than 7, but less than 15. Hmm. There's lots of numbers to choose from there. My number, are you ready, is 5. Add 4 more. My number is five, add four more. So think of it, put five in your head. Five, count on four more to go. Five, six, seven, eight. That's right, the number I am thinking of is nine. My number is nine. Brilliant work. Okay, last one, let's have one more go. So the number I am thinking of is greater than 10. Oh, we're getting into those teen numbers if that number is greater than 10. The number I am thinking of can be made up of 110, can you remember, 110 and two ones. So the number I am thinking of is made up of one ten and two ones. So think about it. My number I am thinking of is ten, add two more. So let's try again. Put ten in your head, stamp it on the floor, go ten, and then add two more. So ten, eleven. That's right. My number I am thinking of was twelve. Oh, you're so clever. Well done, everybody. Right, okay. We're now going to have a go at counting. Now, I have a picture here, and on my picture, there's lots of different things. Now, what I would like you to do is press pause and have a go at counting how many blue bowls you can see. Hmm, how many blue bowls are there in my picture? Press pause and have a go. Right, okay. Have you worked out the answer? Nearly. Right. Let's see 
if your answer is the same as what I get. So our job was to count how many blue bowls there are in my picture. Right, let's start over here and let's count these ones first and then move across. Are you ready? Here we go. You count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine blue bowls in my picture. Did you get that answer too? Brilliant. Fantastic counting. Right, your next challenge is to see if you can count how many flowers are outside on the grass. So through this window, how many flowers all together can you see? Press pause and count them for me. Right, have you had to go at counting? Brilliant. Right, let's count and see how many flowers we can see outside of the window. So I'm going to start and count the yellow ones first. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six yellow flowers. Now I'm going to put six in my head and carry on counting. Are you ready? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There are 13 flowers all together outside on the window. Did you get that too? Brilliant, well done. Fantastic counting guys. Right, now what I need you to do with the help of your grown up is go and collect some counting objects. Now this can be anything from pens, pencils, sweets, toy cars, Lego bricks, anything. I need you to make sure that you have 20 of them. Okay, so press pause, go find, go find me 20 counting objects. Okay, so I am now going to have a go at counting some objects. Have you been and got yours? Brilliant. Now I found some objects too, but I'm not quite sure if I've got 20. So can you count along with me to double check I have got 20 objects? Here we go. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten pens and I'm going to carry on. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, look at that. I've got 20 pens. Double check, do you have 20 counting objects too? Fantastic. Right, now you should see that I have created a number line. So you have got your counting objects and I've got the number line. Now on my number line, it goes all the way from zero, counting all the way up to 20 at the end. Now, the job that we are going to do is I'm going to point at a number. I would like you to have a go at saying that number and then we're going to represent that amount. Okay, here we go. So what number is this? That's right, it's 12. The number is 12. Using my number line, have a go. Can you represent with your counting objects the number 12? Count for me 12 objects. Off you go. Well done. Have you had to go at representing the number 12 with your counting objects? Fantastic. I'm going to do the same using my pens. Here we go, count along with me. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I have twelve pens. I have represented the twelve using my counting objects. All together there are twelve. Well done everybody at representing your objects, at representing the number 12. Now 12 is one more than
than 11. 12 is also one less than 13. Now we can divide 12 up into tens and ones. 12 can be made up of one ten and two ones. Can you say that with me? 12 is made of... 12 is made up of one ten. 12 is made up of one ten and two ones. Can you say that? Brilliant. Right, let's have a go now at representing another number. Hmm. Can you represent for me the number 15? Can you represent for me the number 15? Now, 15 is one more than 14. 15 is one less than 16. You have a go for me and represent the number 15 using your counting objects. Press pause and have a go. Fantastic. Well done, everybody. Have you represented the number 15 with your counting objects? Fantastic counting. I'm now going to represent mine. Here we go. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. I have 15 pens. I have represented the number 15 using my counting objects. Here are 15 pens. Brilliant. Well done for representing 15. Now, we have one more number I would like us to have a go at representing. And that's this one here. That's right, it's number 19. Now, 19 is one more than 18. 19 is one less than 20. Press pause and have a go at representing the number 19 using your counting objects. Right, have you represented your number 19 using your counting objects? You have, well done. Here we go, my go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19. There are 19 pens all together. Wow, what a brilliant maths lesson. But I am going to now set you a challenge. Your challenge is, is to create a number line just like Miss Hainer's. Now you might need your grown up to help you with this to write the numbers. But if you can do that yourself, that's brilliant. So your number line has to go from zero all the way to 20. And using objects from around your house under each of the numbers, I would like you to represent that. So under one, you need something, one thing. Under, under number two, you need two things. All the way up to 20, where under number 20, you've got 20 things. Now, I'd love to see what you get up to. So when you've done it, get your grown-ups to take a picture and can you email them to me, please? Brilliant. Right, enjoy your maths challenge and see you again soon.